You can bunk at the Atlas with Lewis for a while, Mort, but uh, only on one condition. Tell me, sonny boy, anything. Leave that little chihuahua, or we'll have to pay him a visit and strangle the little rat. Oh, and finally, visit the hospice, okay? They're gonna help you there. <sighs> okay. You convinced me, Bardi. I'll do it. Both? Both. Just uh, leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Take care, lizard wizard. Yes. You too. There's no getting away, right? Thanks, boys. It means a lot. Don't mention it, Morty. Thanks, boys. If you see anything interesting, will you tell us, pal? Of course, Sonny. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Great. Thanks, buddy. Fucking furry hell! So they know we're still alive? And I'd like to do something about it. We could only hope we'd arrived in time. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room, the hole as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip. Why couldn't you stay out of this? Ah, look who's here. The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. <sighs> They're never going to use an umbrella, are they? There's not a chance in hell those two would ever admit what morons they are. Hey, Marty, don't they remind you of someone? Fuck off. <sighs> They're never going to use an umbrella. Hey guys, beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes... Shut the fuck up, Royce. And you, don't you have anything better to do? Hey, better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. The boss is waiting for you inside, my little drumstick. He's in a lovely mood, if you ask me. <laughs> Hang yourself, little pincushion. You wish, feather duster. 
Royce, take care of this midget for me, okay? The wind might blow him away. Okay, Sonny. Oh, just shut up, Royce. Can't you see they're making fun of us? Royce, take care of this midget. They should really switch to a new model. We've been driving around in these since the end. You know, Sonny, I hate the old hand from the bottom of my heart. Well, I can understand that. But still, if it weren't for him, half the city would have been drowned in filth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard to admit, Marty, but without him, we wouldn't be here today, you and me. Do you think he knows that? No, well, I won't tell him. Not until his funeral, right? Not until the day after, brother. Well, let's hope we only have to see his lousy mug in print. We don't have that kind of luck, Sonny. Well, let's hope we only have to... Did you ever believe in all of this, Sonny? What do you mean? I mean, what we represent. Well, or what we should represent. I did, Marty. Yeah, I used to believe in it. And now? Somewhere deep down, I guess I still do. After all the shit we've been through, why else would we be here right now? Hmm, you're right. Does that mean I also believe? Well, if you ever question yourself, Marty, then yes, you still do. Hmm, or I'm just an idiot. Like you. That's a possibility. Yeah. Thanks, Boss Bird, for thinking we still have a reason to believe. Hey, don't start with the sentimental crap or I'll punch you in the gizzard. Thanks for that too, Boss. It's sobering and enlightening at the same time. Last traces of the Castilia clan. Blood Boyle took care of the family for good. Gruesome. Oh, don't misunderstand me. They got what they deserved. But, you know, once you pull out a weed like that... Two more spring up in the same place. Exactly. But that doesn't mean we should give up fighting. Why not? What's the point of fighting in vain all your life? Because otherwise, the bad guys win. Fight fire with fire, huh? You said it, partner. Fight fire with fire... Martin! Yes, Chief? You know what I've heard. I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we, uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, Chief, if I may... Uh... Sonny, shut the fuck up! You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your Chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Yes, sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild Lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. Well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your Chief. Get lost. Tonight, the heart of the station is... That was beautiful, but... Hey, Monica. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. Not yet, but all is not lost. Metaphorically, I mean. So, how can I help you? We need some information, if you're uh, not busy. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information, but... You're an angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. Do you know anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly 
Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? Oui. Of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos, the legend herself. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. Yeah, so uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course, because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not going to say anything about that. Look, Mon, we suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Get out while you can. Right about immediately. Well, you're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Famous last words. Have you been flooded by patriotism too, Sonny? Of course, Marty. I feel this way all the time. I think you're mocking me. I think you should become a detective. All it takes is one look, and my comb starts to tingle, which never means anything good. The Hound of Hell in the Flesh. I don't think any kind of devil would be brave enough to get a dog like this son of a bitch. <coughs> a busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire your ass. Uh, understood, sir. Sorry. I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santino. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Not gonna happen again, sir. Did anyone ever tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Only my mother, sir. How you do it, Sonny? Do what? You drive him crazy, yet he still doesn't bite your head off. He didn't even suspend you. Because he respects me, Marty. I may be insufferable, but he can't deny I have always brought something to the table. That's why you drive the poor old dog mad? No, I do it because I'm bitter and twisted. Oh, yeah. Still here? I know, sir. Well, then... For all the wilds, Sonny, get out of my sight! So, we're in a bind now. We have to get our buddy Bosco away from Zip if we want to have a word with him. What are you thinking? I don't know yet. How do we get rid of Bosco? Still thinking. How do we get rid of Bosco? Don't drink that shit, Marty. It's bad... You two again. Say, Bosco, what's all this about, uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. <laughs> yeah, 
more like blood boil. So sorry. Don't you have anything more important to do, Bosco? I do, but Blood Boil ordered me to guard good old Zip here. He wants to question him himself. Oh, wow. Then it's time to say goodbye to the Trash Panda. We may be seeing him for the last time. <laughs> You're probably right, boys. Well, carry on, big guy. Yeah, good evening to you, too. Well, carry on, big guy. Still here. Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. We've got to learn why Ibn wants him out of the way. Do you think he'll sing? People like Zip always sing, Marty. You just have to work on him for a little bit. We've got to learn why Ibn wants... Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. You and protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys. Like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. Sorry, boys. I can't let you... Maybe if we pretend we're not even here. Are you kidding me? The old man can spot us a mile away. Still here? I know, sir. Well then, for all the... Well, carry on, big guy. When did they bring in the trash panda? Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. Oh, just a small thing. For old time's sake. Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zip. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size 35, high heels, black. Um, yes, ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. Hello, Zip. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to visit you, but guess what? You were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and, uh... Cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's, Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? An informant, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? <laughs> I can explain, boys. My life was in danger. These lunatics want to kill me, and I have no idea why. They wanted to cook us, Zip. We're lucky to be alive. Then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not in the mood for bullshit or raccoon shit. But boys, I have no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time. And by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. Don't drink that shit, Mark. Unfortunately, we know you. So spill the beans or else. You wouldn't dare to threaten me, would you? With Chief Blood Boil here? Who would you rather sing to, Zip? Us or him? Choose the lesser evil, Zip. Choose life. Ah, shit. I'll carry your ass away. But if Blood Boil hears about this, he'll hang you out to dry by your waddles. Let that be our problem, old pal. Come on, boys. Hit me. All right, Zip. Uh, let's see. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know it? You see these stitches? 
This way. All of them. Ah, I see. My condolences. Eh, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. Have you ever been to the Nile, Ziff? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. Did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. What do you think about this uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy, but that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas. A piece of a painting, but it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So, still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Anytime, boys. Are we done? So, we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, um... Didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 9842372 to be exact. What? All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Tell us about it. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage. But we're gonna turn the tables. Who did you escape from? And why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. But I had nowhere to run. Eh, you know me. The hop dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. If it's people are everywhere, but uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Those two meatheads called you a rat. Why? Well, maybe because they needed a reason to get rid of me. I swear I didn't squeal to no one. Why would I? Because that's what you do, even now. This is different. Then, my life depended on not squealing. Now, it depends on me doing so, doesn't it? That could be the case, but it doesn't matter now. Thanks, Sonny. You know exactly how to cheer someone up. Seems you can't leave the underworld behind. I have nothing to do with Wessler or the Castilia clan or anybody else, okay? I swear. You mean, not anymore. Wessler didn't leave me much choice. You know how it goes, huh? A last favor. A teeny weeny little favor. I owed him. If I didn't do it, I'd be done for. I mean, I'd be dead. What did you have to do for Evan? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah. What kind of package? A very heavy one. Dead bodies are kind of heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? I didn't. I was bluffing, but uh, thanks for the answer. You lousy chicken. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. Why you, Zip? Ibn has many loyal henchmen for these kinds of jobs. Because, uh... It's harder to trace back to him, I guess. He chose you out of the whole city for this particular job. Why? He needed someone who knows the hive well. The hive? 
So, Roach Town, eh? Why? Because I had to get rid of the package there. You mean the body? It's starting to get interesting. You know you're an accessory to murder, right? Only if I get found out. What reason do I have to keep my beak shut? Maybe if I told you what you'd like to know. Do you think I'm that cheap? Why? Ain't you? That depends on what you have to say, Trash Panda. You wanted to blackmail Ibn, didn't you? Who do you take me for, Sonny? Of course not. I didn't want to blackmail him. I just thought it wouldn't hurt to have some uh, insurance in my hands. Of all that's furries, eh? You're incorrigible. Yeah, I might be. But you haven't changed either, pal. Oh, God. This gambit could cost you your life, Zip. By the look of you, yours is too, chicken. What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Where starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Where insects fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Ugh, you make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. I got the order, I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's Ibn for you. Black man. Yeah, something like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. What exactly did Ibn's man want with you? Did you squeal to anyone? Ibn's gone mad, you understand? Something happened, and the whole city's afraid. And I have a hunch it has something to do with the appearance of you guys, the chicken police. So, he's trying to tie up the loose ends before we can unravel the case. I'm thinking exactly that. Do you know what it means? Let me guess. Yeah. I'm in mortal danger because of you, Sonny. Stop being so dramatic, Zip. Did you tell anyone? Other than you, no one. I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners. Exactly. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Yeah, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Yeah, it was. Why? Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging you as an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, Boss Bird. I will. That's more like it. Zip is a real... Who did you escape from? How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? I don't know, all right? I don't have time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny little favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wessler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wessler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. 
You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella gone totally insane. What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his... Why did you accept the offer, Zip? What else could I have done, huh? Have you ever said no to Hobart Ibn Wesler? As a matter of fact, I did. I like to be with the living, Sonny. Maybe mine is a pathetic, dirty, lonely, pathetic life, but I like it, okay? Okay, okay, don't blow your top off, Zip. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? Maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. Or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bored, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, I see. You're a foul foul. How long do you think you'll be here under protection? Eh, maybe a few days, if I can stall for time. The cell block is full, Zip. You'll be out tonight, if you don't punch Blood Boil in the face or something like that. That's, uh, not a bad idea. But I'd rather choose Bosco if it's possible. Makes sense, but you'll be making coffee with one hand. What happened to the body, Zip? Zip may be secret... Who was the stiff, Zippy? I swear I don't know, Sonny. You have to believe me. I have a hard time believing you didn't take a little peek into that body bag, Zip. I didn't dare, okay? I knew they'd kill me if I did. It looks like they're gonna kill you anyway. Not if you help me, Sonny. I haven't received enough important information yet, Zip. I'm asking you for the last... Zip is a real... Who did you escape? Those two meet... Ibn was blackmailing you, am I right? Of course he, he, he was. He was blackmailing everybody. He has a whole network of blackmail. A blackmail empire. Everyone owes him for something, and he knows something about everyone. What was it in your case? You don't really think I'd tell you, man. <laughs> Even you can't be that naive. What did you have to do? Zip's a secret. Why didn't you come here as... Because they would have left. Not if you know who to look. And who would that be? Maybe you... Well, I'll, I'll help you if I can, Zip. Yeah? And how? By airing up? If they let you out... Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because... You know me. I'm trying to turn every situation to my advantage. That's the way Zip works. How, exactly? It seemed important. It just fell out of the body bag, and I thought, look, this shit seems important, so uh, why not? That's why they want to kill you. I have no friggin' way of knowing that. Why did you ask them, huh? What happened to the bu zip, maybe? So, he wanted to blame it all on the insects. Why would he do that? They're easy prey. Yeah, I get it. Insanely simple, Sonny. 
Ibn Wessler's not the only one who takes advantage of the tensions, you know. It's the easiest method of sweeping things under the rug. I've heard that Wessler is trying to break into the substitute meat industry. Surprised? What do you think will happen if Wessler saves Roachtown from starvation with a new, cheap, and accessible faux meat product, eh? Boom. He's gonna be a hero. Then yeah, maybe he'll get voted into the Council of Twelve. Clucking hell. I'm asking you for the last... Zip is a real... Who did you escape? Those two me... What did he have on... What did you have to... Zip's a secretive little specimen, but... So, a dead body, huh? What kind, exactly? How should I know? What am I, a butcher? A zoologist? You still know something about it. It was wrapped up entirely, okay? I didn't see any of it. It was, uh, I don't know, average, like you and me. Scaly, hairy, furry, feathery, or bald? What kind, exactly? Hey, I don't know, all right? I told you it was wrapped up. If they let you out... Why did you... What happened to the body, Zip? Zip me... So, he wanted... I'm asking you for the last... So you're telling me you have no idea what this is? It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. So you just took it. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first grade bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So, where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Oh, no. We were just there. Sorry, partner. Bubo again. Just your eternal fountain of knowledge. Thanks again, pal. Oh, don't even think about it, Sonny. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Even looking. gentlemen. Hello, Ursula, dear. Oh, oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? 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 That dim-witted, insane, ragged old, stinky owl. That's what's wrong. 
Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goose. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Now, Ryan, I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help... Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us with the car. You know, I'm starting to regret it. That was rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. Was there a sale at the flea market, Doc? I haven't been to the hive in a long time, boys. Fleas can't be trusted. Hey, you're not supposed to say that, old bird. Don't tell me you've become one of those insect lovers. It's a stupid fad, I tell you, but you'll grow out of it, don't worry. It's not a fad. There are animals who develop decent values. You should try it, too. <laughs> Stop croaking, son. I'm too old to change my way of life. And I'm not in the mood for it anyway. Foul owl. What did you say? I said, how now? What cow? Ugh, forget it. Passed down from your creepy ancestors, eh? Get lost, Sonny. Passed down from your creepy... It's almost impossible to think of you as a real doctor, old bird. Now, according to rumor, that is. Believe it or not, I had a great future ahead of me. But the world simply wasn't ready for my genius. Well, it probably never will be. Ooh. They didn't have any landscapes, eh? Oh, leave me alone, Sonny. It's almost unbelievable that Boo... Do you know the Night Owl Blues, Boobo? Are you trying to wind me up, McChicken? Not for the world. Surely you can play the owl and the pussycat, right? Stab me if I'm wrong. Get lost, Marty. Have you nothing better to do? Honestly? Nope. You can't even play the piano, am I right? I never said I could. Ah, what a shame. You can't even play the piano. What about your experiments, Doc? What? How do you know about the experiments? I'm, uh, I'm just, uh... If you dare to squeal about them, Sonny, I swear I'm gonna strangle your little skinny chicken neck. Hey, hey, stop right there. I was bluffing, okay? I don't know about any experiments. Oh, now I'm suddenly interested. What? <laughs> I was just joking with you two boys. <laughs> there are no experiments at all. You know me, right? Yeah. Look, about those, uh, non-existent experiments. I had no idea where they came from. I just took them in the name of science. In the name of science, huh? I don't know about you, Sonny. Smells like boobo bullshit to me. Your sense of smell's rarely mistaken, partner. I swear I'm not doing it anymore. It doesn't even work. Insect body parts are not compatible with animals. What did you just say? Who, me? I didn't say anything. Okay, we don't want to hear any of this, Bubo. And I think it's time for us to go. Good idea, Boss Bird. Let's just drop the subject, okay? It's best for everyone. You're probably right, Doc. Let's just drop the subject. How's it going, Papa Bubo? <clears throat> 
very well, thank you. I've lost a bit of weight recently because of my death, you know. Ah, I see. Sorry to hear that. Get well soon, Papa. Thanks, son. Now, one more thing, Paps. Yes, my boy? Are you done? Uh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Good evening, Papa Bubo. I was never so scared as when I was lying here and you were leaning over me, Doc. Do you mean that time when McChicken shot you? Yeah. That was a night to remember. Ah, don't even mention it. Good old days. Do you ever clean this, Doc? You really want to know, Sonny? And uh, not really. There you go. Bad, bad memories. Do you think he's broken up about it? Bobo? You mean because of Ursula? I don't think so. He's too proud ever to admit he was wrong. Or say he's sorry. Okay, but deep down inside... Oh, I don't want to know what's deep down inside of Bubo, Marty. Let's get this over with fast. I don't want any family drama. We're already in it up to our crest, Sonny. Let's get this over with... Hey, what's up, Doc? Somehow we guessed we'd find you still awake. Stop playing innocent. I've heard that little intermezzo. I have the ears of an owl, you know. We're very sorry, Bubo. I'm sure she'll come back. Of course she'll come back. She loves me. I don't know why. And she's afraid that I'll drink myself to death once she's gone for good. She's not wrong about that. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We're here for some information. Then we'll be out of your hair. I mean, feathers. Who cares? So what do you want? And be quick about it. What was that ruckus all about? Ursula's not one to lose her patience quickly. She has literally infinite patience, boys. But somewhere, even infinity has to end. I think infinity's infinite because it has no end. Oh, shut up, Martin. I'll zip it. Oh, this day was too much for her. We were supposed to go out for a date or something. It's New Year's Eve after all, you know. But that's when those bastards arrived. Then the even worse bastards. You. And that was too much for her. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Somehow tonight, we're shocking everybody we come across. And don't you think that's a sign? A sign of what? That the time for the chicken police is over. On the contrary, old man. Everything's the same as it used to be. Great wild ones preserve us. But spit it out. What exactly do you want? And make it snappy, will ya? You're right, Doc. Say, Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. What if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing. The sun shining. And Ursula always comes back. Exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Touching, but you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Oh. Yeah. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. What do you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. And? And what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? 
How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? Okay, let's try another approach. That rat you mentioned was Zip. Should I be surprised or what? I knew it was him. Yeah. Yeah, we knew you knew. What did that old raccoon do this time? Ibn was blackmailing him with something. That's what we wanted to ask you. Do you know anything about it? I don't care about Wessler's dealings, Sonny. I patch up whoever winds up here, and I don't care if they're cops or gangsters. Yeah, it's the same thing. Or gangster cops. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, brother. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. That rang a bell, old owl. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. That's more like it. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a corpse, huh? It looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. Out with it, owl face. Okay, don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. The band is very likely from there. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? Yeah. You don't know? I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. Albert Wessler? Put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. Do you think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? Thanks, Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Will wanders never cease? So, Albert Wessler. Which asylum do you mean, Bubo? It's got some fancy long name I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. Thanks, Bubo. Well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution for ill and damaged minds. Quite a big fool. Where can we find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six-hour drive from Clawville. Maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Whew. Finally? Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just one more thing. What's that, Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler... The trouble's bigger than you think. It's always bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. Ooh, not while you're alive, eh? Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. The pleasure was all ours, Doc. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful.
we had to gather ourselves, take a deep breath, and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What had I dragged Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. Yeah, but, uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate ways. What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. God damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura's waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risk my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. Now, I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, partner. Ah, uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, cluck off, Marty. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Books I've never... I still have nightmares about the Great Fire. Really? Were you alive then? How old are you exactly? I was three. And maybe it's not even a true memory. Just the collective memory of the city. I see the flames. I see the burning buildings. And I hear the screams. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you weren't born in Clawville. Aren't you from Iveria? Exactly, Marty. We were just visiting Clawville when the fire broke out. I'm surprised you ever returned. Well, maybe that's the reason I did return, Marty. It's like when someone falls in love with their captor, you know? Somehow, I feel like this is my place. No matter how much suffering it brings, Clawville's fate is intertwined with mine. Heavy stuff. Tonight you tried to kill me again, old friend. Are you talking to the city? Huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm just going nuts. You and me both, Boss Bird. A stack of papers. You know, I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marble. We've met her on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember? Her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. You've read too much of that cheap garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I know. Huh. Maybe I am. Please say the floor inside is covered with conspiracy theory papers and notes written with your own blood. More like dirty clothes and empty bottles, Marty. Sorry. Ah, uh, you're no fun, Sonny. And <laughs> well, you'll get old eventually, too. Never! When all of this is over... Thanks for everything, pal. Truly. Don't mention it, Sonny. If 
if it weren't for you, nobody would have tried to kill me with a Tommy gun or set fire to a ship with me in it. Yeah, how lucky you are, huh? Damn right. I got a feeling tomorrow's gonna be another tough day. You could use a good night's sleep. <sighs> You're telling me. I got a feeling tomorrow... What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? You must have hit your head pretty bad. Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. What do you think about everything? Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Eben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Uh, it doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Yeah, exactly. If he's the dead body, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we gotta ask him directly. What do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case. And that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> Courtesan? Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly. Oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? She's not part of my life anymore. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case. And on making it out alive. And helping Natasha, too. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be. Or she could even be behind everything. No, you don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. Let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? Okay, so the picture is more or less clear. Ibn's got his brother killed because he learned Natasha worked in a brothel. Well, no, that could be the case, but I believe the roots go deeper than that. Which we'd only learn if we talked to him. I mean, if the corpse isn't him, because then we'd need a medium. Which would be exciting, but maybe it's enough if we ask the doctor who treated him. That too, yeah. But where's the fun in that? Okay, so the picture is more or less... You still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. 
but I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey, Sonny, she... she didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, Marty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. Who'd have thought? I believed that little rat. I thought he'd changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon, Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Cause then, the whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body and roach down. That's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. Sounds about right. is this place a few hours drive from here in the middle of nowhere it's a creepy old mansion of course you think it's a good idea to go there what if it's a trap i told you you can still go back oh wouldn't you love that no such luck boss if i get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum that's gonna be on you thanks pal i deserve that I got a feeling tomorrow's gonna be... You're the best, Booba. You've heard the gossip, haven't you? That they were the ones to set fire to the city before saving it? Everyone heard that, Marty, but most likely it's sheep shit. I don't know. Somehow it fits for me. First, they burn down the city, then they save it with their influence and money, and then they're heroes. You watch too many movies, Marty. They had zero reason. They saved the city because all their business and political interests were here. If everything burned, all they worked for would have turned to ash. It must be horrible to live inside your head, Boss Bird. I don't see it that way. I don't believe everything's directed by cold, calculated logic. Because it's not. But most conspiracy theories are just pure, made-up sheep shit. The real conspiracies never come to light. Ah, so you do believe in them? Eh, I believe in the possibility. And what I see with my own eyes. You're an awfully worn piece of old furniture, pal. I hope you know that. It's chaos and mayhem wherever we go. Oh, Sonny, it's good to be working with you again. Yeah, I never thought I'd say this, but uh, you're right. I never knew how much I missed it. Ah, that feels good, Boss Bird. Just don't get too excited. So, are you still a fan? Adoration is the prerogative of youth, Marty. Ha, <laughs> bird shit. So, are you still a fan? Hey, when this is over, do you think we'll be on the front pages again? Ah, 
Hell yeah. I can already see the headline. Chicken police shot to death in an insane asylum. Ooh, I love your optimism. Hey, when this is over, do you think... Can I ask an honest question, Sonny? If you must. You think of her differently now? Because of what you've learned? I don't really know. Our shared past didn't change. Our daughter, our experiences, our pains. Yeah, I guess you're right. But yeah, Marty, I think of her differently. I won't lie. I'm sorry. I know, Marty. Huh, we've been partners for ten years, and I only ever met Molly a handful of times. Isn't that weird? Nine years, Marty. But you're right. Molly was, uh, reserved. Like me. Maybe that's why you were a good match. Just the opposite, Marty. That's why we drifted so far apart from each other. Why didn't you tell me? Hey, if you like music so much, why don't you have a turntable, Sonny? <laughs> Maybe I love the silence even more. <laughs> the silence of Clawville. You mean the sirens, the gunshots, the crying, the screams, and the wailing? Yeah, something like that, Marty. Who's that guy again? He's still M.B. Davis, Marty. The immortal king of jazz. Oh, yeah, right. I think you've already mentioned that. So, when and where was this? Not long after I met Molly. She always loved to work with orphans. She simply liked to give. I see. So what the cluck are you doing in the picture? I helped around the orphanage for a while. As a... A volunteer. So you were a kindergarten teacher? No. Relax, Sonny. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It makes me think of you from a new perspective. Stop it right there, Marty, while you can. What do the kids call you? Mr. Santino? Uncle Sonny? Papa Bossbird? One more word, and I'll twist your beak off. <laughs> what do the kids call you? still like to take a peek inside. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Marty. I wouldn't do it if I were me, either. Ooh, it gets more and more enticing. I got a feeling tomorrow's... Okay, so the picture is more or less clear. to daddy, darling. Oh, man, I totally get you. Ironic, but you're the best. Molly, my ex-wife, what do you have to do with all this? Molly, it's a piece of a painting, judging why did you keep, why did you come to dad? I've had enough stimulation. A stack of paper. Huh. I'd still like to take a peek inside. Nautica. Closet that's closed for a closet.
Uh, nothing, uh, forget it. Hello, Mr. 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 Hello,